Hi my little shardies, welcome and welcome back. This is Christina with Art Online. As you might have seen in a recent video, I have discovered Karen Deash's Neo Color 2s. In doing so, I realized that I like sharpening them so that I'm able to get into smaller spaces with them. So when I got my full set, I didn't want to waste the pigment in the crayons. They're pretty expensive. I searched around town and nobody had any half pan or full pan empty sets of watercolor trays. I could order them off of Amazon, but I didn't want to wait. So I found these in my local Michaels, but I'll have, have a link to Amazon below. So today I want to show you how to make these Tim Holtz Ranger alcohol palettes into a Neo Color pigment palette that you can use instead of wetting down your crayons. You can just pick it up directly from here and you save all of your shavings from sharpening your crayons. That way you're not wasting anything. So a while back I purchased these labels from Amazon. I know it says onlinelabels.com, but that is not where I got it from. I got these from Amazon and they're basically full size sticker sheets. I use these sticker sheets a lot when I'm crafting. So you just wanna make sure that you're writing or printing on the matte side and not the shiny side. You'll also need a paper trimmer of some kind. So basically what I did was line up my sticker paper under the bottom of each of the wells. And then I wrote very small under each one of them and created these little strips. Then I put the sticker paper in my trimmer and sliced off the strip. Now I'm gonna adhere the strips underneath where I want the colors. So now I'm gonna line them up. You do have to make sure they're pretty small strips or they won't fit. And I'm gonna stick them down. You can do it with your hands I also have this little mini orange wood stick and I'm just using it to make sure that it's really stuck down. And I have my swatch book here just because I've already swatched out my Neo Colors and I wanted to see what order I put them in uh, when I was writing them. And the full size Neo Color set has 84 colors in it and I bought three of these alcohol palettes. Each palette has 36. So I'm leaving a set of wells on the very bottom of the first two palettes for mixing and then on the last palette I'm leaving two sets of wells. I would say these strips are about a quarter inch in height and my handwriting is terrible. I'm sorry guys. I have terrible handwriting. All right, everyone, I removed this plastic piece off the top just because I have overhead lighting and there's a lot of reflection going on. So I went ahead and removed that. That way you're just seeing the inkwells here. Here is the 84 set of the Karen Dash Neo Colors. I've already done this bottom tray and part of this top one in the other two inkwells that I have. I'll just do the first couple for you to give you an idea on what I'm doing and then we'll come back when it's done. So I purchased this two hole cum sharpener and that's what I'm using. And I'm just pulling out my first color, which is Sahara yellow. And I'm putting it in the larger hole and I'm putting the area of the shavings come out right over top of the palette. And sometimes you may have to take the paper off, but if it's a little far back like this and you're just starting out, you won't have to do that. And I'm gonna to go to my next color here, which I believe is orange yellow. And my next color is apricot. And I'm just gonna go across this first line. You don't have to do it this way. You guys can do it whatever way you feel is best for you. Maybe sharpen as you go. I don't wanna to have to do that, so I'm kinda of doing everything up front just to create the palette. And it looks like there's a lot of shavings in here, but once you wet them, you realize there's not that much in there. They condense down really easily. This is flesh. And I am looking in between to make sure there's no scrapings left in there from the previous color, like that. If there is, I'm just kind of lightly taking the crayon and wiping it into the well. This is salmon. Now 
and this is salmon pink. You can use any kind of container if you happen to have uh, half pans or full pans for watercolors that you're not using like a travel set or something you can go ahead and use those. Again I just didn't have access to those in my local area and I didn't want to wait for my Amazon order to come in so I figured this would work. Um, initially I was using these like little ketchup containers and I was putting the shavings in them for my 15 set but I didn't want to keep doing that because then they get all mixed up or you're using a ton of those little containers so I thought this was going to be a much better option for me. All right, so now I have a paper towel and a clean water brush. And depending on how much you have in each of these wells is going to depend on how much water you put in. For my purposes, these first couple, I'm only going to put two or three drops. So I'm holding the water pen over top and I'm just putting a couple drops. And then I'm just going to kind of take the clippings and mush them together. They're going to stick to your water brush. I tried to use the orange wood stick, but it didn't come out as good. You don't have to use as much water as I'm using. I just found it a little bit easier. My whole point in doing this is just so that it hardens up enough that when I put the lid on it and move it around, that this blob of shavings doesn't come out. I want it stuck down in that pan. You can wipe the excess. On your paper towel. Make sure your brush is clean before you go to the next one. That way you don't contaminate your next color. And I probably put a little too much water in there, so you might want to start with two drops. And again, the main goal is just to kind of get this to all come together so it's not individual pieces, it's like a clump. Don't worry about trying to get underneath. I'm sure as you use it, that'll That'll become wet. Again, I'm not looking for perfection. My main goal here is just to make sure I'm not being wasteful and I'm trying to use as much of that pigment as I can. This also makes it so I don't have to keep wetting the crayon itself. I can just pull right out of here and use this as a like a pigment palette watercolor palette. I don't know what you want to call it. Alright, so there you go. Now I'm just going to put the lid back on this after I finish doing these and let it dry out. And when you're finished, you should have a palette that you're ready to pull out and use anytime you need to use some of that extra pigment that you have. So I did this one a few hours ago and some of them are still a little wet. So I'm just going to grab this little piece of cardstock right here, pick some up and see if this works. So I'm going to take my wet water brush, pick up a little of the pigment, and go to one that's kind of on the drier side. I'm going to wet that, pull the pigment over. Let it You may not want to use as much liquid as I did. Um, I just again wanted to mash together so it didn't come out of the wells. I'm sure probably actually be better if you don't use as much liquid. Um, I know that the pigments don't react until you add water to it and obviously we added water to it. That said I'm still able on the dry ones to wet it again and pick up the pigment and put it down. So my goal again is to try to save as much of this as possible. You can even, as long as you have a, a good case that has a lid on it, not even add water at all and just put the clippings in each individual well, as long as you can open and shut it without everything going everywhere. I'm gonna go into my second well here and try a couple that are pretty dry. It's like this first one down here looks pretty dry. Again, just use a wet brush, pick the pigment up on it and you have instant watercolors guys do you sharpen your neo colors if so how do you save them make sure to sound off in the comment box below
I hope you found this video useful. If so, make sure you hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you're told each and every time I post a new video. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, color happy, and remember, shh, it's our little secret.